Hello again, it's Alan Holden with the third uh, screencast in the installment on how to change your website when it runs on the Mira content management system. Uh, your prerequisites are screencasts one and two. Uh, there you learned how to log in and you learned how to uh, edit your content and how to add uh, content. Uh, specifically, um, you added a gallery object to this here calendar object. Uh, Mirror operates on kind of a parent-child relationship. Uh, the calendar object is a parent of the children, which are the individual objects that are placed below them on, on the tree, I guess, if you want to look at it that way, too. Uh, we've created this one object, even though we're spanning multiple dates, it's, it's a single uh, gallery object. And now that the gallery object is created, we want to add some actual photos to that gallery. Um, and the concept is, is relatively the same. Uh, anything you want to change in Mira, you get it on the screen first. So if we want to add uh, photos to the gallery object, we need to get the gallery on the screen first. Whoops. And so we're on the gallery now. And the choices of things we can add has changed dramatically because Mira knows we're uh, editing a gallery object right now. And uh, it will let us add a single item, one photo, or a bunch of items, as in multiple photos. We're going to choose the, the uh, later ladder right now. And uh, the interface for this is relatively simple. Uh, when we click the button, we get our own operating system uh, dialog box for selecting files. Uh, I'm running Windows 7 right now, and this particular dialog box is showing me um, large icons for each photo. But, uh, you know, your own system might show it to you like this or like that. And mine's like this. Uh, also important is the actual size of the photos that you're uploading. M you know, Mirror will let you select multiple files, but if your camera was set to take huge 8 megapixel beasts of every photo item and you select, you know, multiple items and upload them, y your system could be chugging along, f you know, all night while you're waiting for this to happen. So, um, yeah, depending on what it is that you're taking, you can either resize your photos uh, ahead of time, uh, or you can just set your camera to do like you know, uh, uh, 600 by 400 or something along those lines um, when you take the photos in the first place. Anyways, um, or you could just select smaller batches. I'm going to select a batch of about four of these photos. And I held down Control or uh, Command, and I uh, clicked on these four. And so when I click on the button, Mira is actually going to process uh, all those uploads uh, sequentially and move them up and resize them and create thumbnails. And as I said before, bada-bing. It's all done, so I'm going to go down here and click on this Close. And now if I look at this gallery again, there are my thumbnails of the photos. I can't wait to go to this phony event. And you click on one and you can actually sequence through uh, just like your users would do when they wanted to browse the things that are going to be at this sale. And so uh, once again, the, the system is uh, relatively the same. When you want to add something, you get your target on the screen and then you click on Add. When you want to edit something, you get your target on the screen and you click on Edit. Now I'll click on Edit here and you'll see that what I'm editing is the gallery object which is just the same uh, text that I entered. You're kind of possibly wondering now how is it that you enter the photos? Well, you edit the photos uh, using the Site Manager, which is something you've never seen before. It's this link here. And uh, there are so many features on the Site Manager that go beyond this screencast, but for now, our concentration will be on this tree in which you see 
uh, our parent object, the sail in Pasadena. This is the uh, gallery object, but below that, like children, are each of the individual photos that I uploaded. And so here I can let me scroll this way a little bit. Here on the far right is the delete icon for removing any one of those photos. If I uploaded too many or there's one I didn't like and I replaced it with another one. Um, another thing you can do is open up the individual photo item and give it a far better description. Something I'm not really doing. <laughs> I'm giving it a slightly better description. And there's the familiar publish button. There's the title, and this is for navigation. I'm going to put an A on this one. It's the tree thang. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm showing you. Let's go back over to here. Take another look at this. Those are better descriptions. Picture. Tree thing. Tree thang. Finally, uh, if my multiple upload uh, crapped out on one or two photos, which may happen if one photo is particularly large, uh, if one photo has a little bit of corruption to it and the multiple upload doesn't work, you can actually upload the file individually like this. There's the familiar interface. I guess I should figure out what it is I'm going to upload first. I'm going to upload this table. And there we go. Publish. This is an individual item upload. And there it is. Okay, there you go. Now your um, calendar object has the gallery object in within it, and the gallery object has individual photo objects within it. Uh, I think you're good to go.